Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at making Kodi 17.4 portable on a USB stick. What this means is you can install Kodi to your USB stick and then you can take it to your friend's house, your family's house, without the need of having to install Kodi onto their machine. And if you've got any plugins or add-ons on your Kodi portable, then it will already be set up. You won't have to keep setting it up each time. Which means it's very handy having a portable version of Kodi. It saves a lot of time and hassle. To start with, you need to go over to the link that's in the description below and you end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, you need to scroll down to the bottom and select Windows. You're now going to select the installer 32-bit and we're just going to wait for that to download. Once Kodi's finished downloading, we're now going to run the setup file. And you now need to plug in your USB stick. As you can see, I've got my USB stick here. You can format your USB stick if you want, if you don't want anything else on it. But you can also have your other files on the USB stick. It doesn't matter. As you can see, I'm going to just create a text file just to prove to you and let's just do a zip folder just to prove that you can have other files on your USB stick with Kodi. It won't affect the program at all. Once you've decided what you want to do, if you're going to format, you can right click on your USB stick, click on format, then you can leave everything at default and press start. Now we're going to go back to our install and we're just going to go next. I agree. And we want to do the full install of Kodi, which means we're just going to leave that at default. And here's the part that you need to change. You need to change the destination folder. We need to go back to our USB stick and up the top here it says it's G, which is the drive letter our USB stick is on. We need to copy that and we're just going to replace this C bit with G. And we're just going to take out the program files and have it with just Kodi backslash. You should now have something that looks like that. The drive letter of your USB stick backslash Kodi backslash. We're now going to go next. And we do not want to create any shortcuts on our machine as this is going to be a portable version. And as soon as you unplug that USB stick, it's never even existed on our computer here. We're now going to go install and this can take a couple of seconds depending on how fast your USB stick is. Once that's finished installing we're now going to go finish and you need to head on over to your USB stick. I'm just going to make this a bit bigger so it's easier to see. There we go. You now need to go into your Kodi folder and we're looking for the Kodi.exe you just need to right click that and go copy. You now need to go to the main start of the USB stick and you need to right click and go paste shortcut. Once you've created a shortcut you need to right click on that shortcut and we're going to go rename and we're just going to rename it to portable. We now need to right click again on the Kodi portable shortcut and go to properties and you now need to where it says target put space hyphen P. And we're going to go apply and OK. If I just open up the Kodi folder, and as you can see, there's no other folders in there that says portable. Now, if I run our Kodi portable, as you can see, it's run absolutely fine. If I now go back to our folder, our Kodi folder, and if we just refresh that, as you can see, we've now got a portable data folder. And like I said at the start of this video, that is where all your add-ons and everything will be stored. Which means when you go to your friends and families, you're always going to have all your add-ons and you won't have to keep reinstalling them onto Kodi. I hope this video helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.